Hey guys, so I wanted to come on here real quick and talk about yet another Mandela effect that I came across. So, um, on the last video I talked about the Mona Lisa. And after that I decided to dive more into this whole Mandela effect rabbit hole. Um, the next Mandela effect I'm going to talk about here is the Statue of Liberty. If that one is yet another, um artifact yes let's call it that artifact S extremely famous um, piece of art that has been known for almost a century now I believe L a long long time um, I am NOT from New York I am NOT from New York or anything like that um, I've lived in uh, Florida my whole life um, but when I was taught about the Statue of Liberty, when I was introduced, um, again, it was in elementary, middle school. And recently, you know, now that I heard of this Mandela effect, this one again has blown my mind. It has made me question reality. It has freaked me out. So here's the thing. Um, when I was introduced, taught about the Statue of Liberty, any time that it happened, every time that they mentioned it, it has always been mentioned that the Statue of Liberty was on Alice Island, okay? Uh, again, I'm not from New York. Um, I never visited the Statue of Liberty. Um, so just take what I'm saying with a grain of salt, I guess. Don't, don't be too quick to jump into any belief or um, try to say anything that you know that don't try to be rude just try to take this with an open mind um, so yes anytime I was told about the Statue of Liberty anytime that I was uh, taught anytime it was mentioned um, history books and school teachers everyone said was that the Statue of Liberty was on Ellis Island Statue of Liberty is on Ellis Island. Ellis Island Statue of Liberty. I barely saw pictures of the Statue of Liberty as I was growing up as a child, as a teenager. Um, I didn't really study or take note that um, this statue was on a specific area, on a specific uh, location, island, or whatnot. But I always, always heard the words the Statue of Liberty is on Ellis Island. I hope I'm not alone on this. This is absolutely, again, terrifying. It is just bizarre, again, just like the Mona Lisa. Um, it appears to me, and don't be afraid of what I'm about to tell you, it appears to me that um, there's a Mandela effect almost every day now. So guys, this is a warning. This is, well, not a warning. But I'm just going to give you some advice here. I want you all to pay more attention to the smallest things. It appears like the smallest things are changing constantly. Kind of like the movie um, Back to the Past, Back to the Future. Um, I don't know the title exactly, but you guys know what I mean. You you guys know that movie. I'm going to leave a, like, a, like a title page right here so you guys understand which movie I'm talking about. It appears like something along those lines of what happened in that movie is taking place. Alright, someone is going to the past. Someone is traveling to the future, to the past. And changing something up. And it's taking effect now in front of our eyes. We are being distracted by the media, by the presidents, by just random entertaining things. We are being distracted and we're not paying attention to these things until like it comes out in the Mandela effect or whatever and people are saying oh yeah that never happened um and then the rest of us are just remembering being a certain way um there's no way because I never heard of such Liberty Island I don't remember that being said in the past that has never been there in my mind um maybe I'm crazy okay like I said take this with a grain of salt try to be open-minded um, and here's another thing that might freak you guys out so pay attention to what I'm about to tell you 
When you go to New York, okay, listen up. When you go to New York, you can find Grand Central blank. Fill in the blank. What do you think? Grand Central what? All right. I've always heard. All right. I have always heard from movies, from shows, this thing called Grand Central Station. All right. There's this movie called Madagascar. I heard Grand Central Station. Just that word, Grand Central Station, over and over, just like the Statue of Liberty is located in Ellis Island, over and over. As a child, as a teenager, as I grew up throughout time, all right? Turns out it is not Grand Central Station. Now it is Grand Central Terminal. You heard me right, Grand Central Terminal. And the thing is, if you guys do your own research, because don't take it from me. Like I said, take this with a grain of salt. Do your own research. You guys go on your own and do your own research. Get into the internet. Watch videos on your own time. And try to remember. Try to use your own memory, you guys. Um, um, guys, so here is another creepy thing that I think is important that will um, kind of prove that the past is being altered, it is being manipulated. Um, so there's this thing called residue. Residue is like these Mandela effects that are proven to be true. So if you guys do your own research, you go on the internet, you can find, for example, the Bear stained bears. Um, whatever that show movie was, I wasn't really paying attention to that one. But people have found the residue that I'm talking about. Um, someone found an old VHS tape that had the word bear and stained bears written like it was in their memory with an E. That's called residue. The same thing with the Jungle Book. People have made parades uh, with Baloo. Baloo the bear from the Jungle Book with him wearing a bra. I made that video already. Um, that's called residue. That's called residue or people are remembering him wearing a bra. Therefore, in the Disney parades, he's wearing a bra. Um, so, this is what I'm going to tell you guys just... Clearly, this time travel situation is very much real. If it's not time travel, it is the multidimensional universe, different realities, the multiverse, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if we've been transported, like I said, because we were supposed to die in 2012 and we've been transported, uh, not uh, teleported, we've been teleported to this reality where these things are, are all changed switched up we've been teleported to not die that sounds like a good thing i guess um but it's just strange and your your memories your feelings about all this are valid because clearly there is some residue like i mentioned there is residue there's these little little tiny forms of proof all right it is proof Someone was saying that, oh, the Mandela effect is that someone gives you this idea. This idea that this certain thing was spelled a certain way. And because you are now convinced because of that person, um, that's the reason the, Man the Mandela effect exists. So it's like debunking the Mandela effect. It's making all of y'all like sound crazy, making me sound crazy. And we are just easily gullible, easily easily manipulated in our minds but no because there is residue like i said that movie like back to the future back to the past stuff like that is becoming very much real and i want you all to pay attention to your world pay attention to to shows and movies that you watched um and try to find this residue try to find this proof um so the Grand Central Terminal, you know, in some movies, in some shows, people call it the Grand Central Station. Again, that's residue. And like, I don't want to scare anyone. So let's, you know, let's pretend that this time travel thing is real, which it could 
very well be real. Let's pretend it's real. Um, don't be afraid if it's real. If it turns out that it's very much a reality, that people are time traveling, switching up our future, and making things disappear in front of our eyes, it's completely fine, all right? So, listen, um, if that's the case, um, we cannot do anything. We are just regular humans out here trying to live our daily lives. Um, don't feel like you're crazy. I just want to say um, if you think Mr. Mandela died, if you think that Pikachu had a black tail and such, your memories are valid. And, you know, if you have a good memory, even better. Um, and let's just hope that whoever's switching up the past, switching the future, doing whatever they want, let's just hope they're doing it for a good reason and that it's not something harmful, harmful to you, to society, to anybody. Um, so yes, um, Grand Central Terminal. It turns out it was Grand Central Terminal all along. Apparently, um, it has switched in front of our eyes. Statue of Liberty was never in Ellis Island, like I heard a multitude of times. Um, it has always been on Liberty Island. Something new, something I've never seen in a history book or remember being talked about, remember being mentioned. It's on Liberty Island. Liberty Island is a thing now. So I am 23. I'm about to be 24. Um, I was born in 98. So it looks like these things just continue to change. They are changing in front of our eyes, in front of our very own eyes, in front of our, um, in front of our own family, friends, everybody is just being switched up like nothing before, like, and it's starting to feel more like that show Futurama. Um, have any of y'all heard of the show Futurama? Um, it's kind of like this futuristic show and there's robots and people with, um, People working with aliens and you know you know Futurama it's becoming very real that show Futurama becoming very much um, not so science fiction becoming very much a reality and if it is a reality then we have to accept it it's okay um, you guys just focus on being happy all right focus on the best version of you Focus on your health, on your mental health. Don't, like I said, don't worry too much, okay? Just just, just know that your feelings, your memories are valid. Um, do everything that is right according to your values and morals. And like I said, um, you know, time travel um, seems very much a reality now. And things are disappearing and appearing right in front of our eyes. Okay, so I just wanted to mention that um, my next video, I don't know if it's going to be me talking about this creepy, very, very creepy, bizarre situation of Mandela effects and such. I think my next video is just going to be a gameplay. So you guys let me know in the comments what you believe, what you don't believe. Let's keep things nice and respectful. Um, just make sure you remember clearly Try, try to remember your own version of this reality. Try to mention what people were saying. If you had a diary or a notebook or a movie, um, not a movie, scratch that. If you had a diary or a notebook or a journal, make sure to go back to those because those seem to hold the most residue, let's say, residue proof of things that have now changed because people are now finding that residue that I'm talking about and it is absolutely creepy, um, spooky, whatever you want to call it and we should not be afraid because it's not our fault. Um, you know, it would be the fault of whoever is either time traveling, whoever is, whoever is changing the past, whoever, um, is teleporting us to a different reality, a different dimension. Um, and there's even been talk of um, 
people, not people, like the the top ones, you know, the top dogs. Let's call them this. Let's call them the the kings, the ones with all the power, you know, the ones with all this technology. All right, there's been talk of them. All right, them uh, erasing our memories. So that is also very creepy. I don't know what their plans are. I don't really <laughs> care or shouldn't care. Like like I said, we should be trying to be the best version of us and trying to stay happy and healthy. Um, so there has been talk of them uh, erasing our memories. I don't know how they would be going about erasing our memories, um, if that's even possible. So you guys, let's just... Let's just try to live a happy, healthy life. Let's take this all as entertainment. Um, because that's the best we can do. Our little human selves can't do much. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah. Um, have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself. Drink water. Stay healthy and happy. Um, play some video games. Go out for a walk. Go out for a run. And please stay positive. Okay?